What's up guys, it's your boy Anthony Arendelle bringing you once again another TCC Tony Tech Cave tutorial. Today we're going to be flashing the awesome Elephone U Pro once again with Skeleton 1911's new software version 10.3. Yeah, it's a very good software. I've been testing it the last few days. It works fantastically and what can I say, it actually works better than the original RAM. I also want to let you guys know the Skeleton 1911 is going to be supporting the Poker phone pretty soon. Only thing is that he needs some help to get that phone, so then we're going to help him out. Well, at least I'm going to help him out. And if you guys can also help him out, that would be fantastic because Focal Phone is a very good phone. And I'm getting that phone pretty soon, and it's going to be supported on this channel. And who better to make ROMs for it than the Skeleton 1911s? So, guys, if you can help out, the donation will be in the description below. And without any further ado, let's start flashing. Yeah! All right, guys, so what you want to do is you want to make sure that you um, unzip the Pro Tool, that's it, um, the U Pro Tools. Uh, I will be leaving them in the description below, just as I said earlier. Once it's been unzipped, you will have a folder called U Pro Tools. You want to make sure that you definitely install uh, QPST and the Qualcomm drivers. Um, let's begin with the Qualcomm drivers. Obviously, I have already zipped it out, by the way, because here you have a zip, this have a, I have, this I have already zipped out and then you get this folder obviously. So let's go into it. You want to download, you want to install the Qualcomm drivers. I've already installed them earlier but let's just do it one more time. Let me see if I can zoom in for you guys. Yes. So what you want to do is you just want to go to next, next, just keep going next. In this case, um, you would get installed, but I'm going to get modified since I've been here. I'm just going to keep on clicking next. You should also keep clicking next. Install. And then the drivers are installed. And then the drivers are done. So what you want to do is you want to go back into the U Pro Tools. And you want to go to the folder called QPST. Once you're in there, you have to install this file, the QPST 2.7460. Double click that. And that will install all the uh, programs that we need to use later. Like for example, QFill. This is a program that we're definitely gonna be using in order to flash the telephone. Flashing the telephone is, is quite easy. We've done it before. I've had it done already in, in a previous, uh, previous uh, tutorial. But I'm just doing it once more so that you guys who are new can follow, follow along and get this thing flashed. Okay, so now that's done. And then we're gonna continue with the other part of installing the ROM. And then you wanna go to Device Manager. On the Device Manager, um, make sure that you go to Ports. And on the Ports, you can pretty much see uh, what's connected right now. As you can see, I only have COM port one. Uh, let me zoom uh, just a little bit. See, I only have COM port one. So what you wanna do is you wanna make sure the telephone is off. Uh, let me zoom back out, zoom out. Yeah, you wanna make sure that the telephone is off and then you wanna hold volume up, volume down and power at the same time. So I'm gonna do that, one, two, three, and go. I'm gonna hold them in, and then eventually I will hear some chime, and I did hear it, and then I let go, and when I let go and I look back onto the computer, let's zoom in, you should see I have now a new port, and that is the Qualcomm HS USB Q Loader 9008, that's what you want. And now you wanna load up QFill. So you do so, open up QFill, and uh, what you want to do is you want to load your ROM file, but make sure it's on flat build first. Once it's on flat build, you go to where you have your ROM. Obviously, as you can see, I've already loaded it, but I'm just going to do it again. Then I'm just going to go ahead to load XML and I'm going to do uh, no wipe because I don't want to wipe. Let me see. Zoom in on that. No wipe because I don't want to wipe, but you are going to do wipe. So let's click on that, and I'm patched, and let me go back to no wipe, because I don't want to wipe, but you guys want to wipe. And then what you want to do is, you want to do is click download. 
And once you've done that, you just gotta wait and it's going to proceed to flash it. And as you can see guys, it already started the flashing process. You have to have a lot of patience for this. Let me see if I can zoom in just a little bit. No, that's as much as she can zoom in. So guys, just wait. It's a long ass wait, keep waiting. And when it's done, I'll be back with you. Okay guys, now it's done. I also wanna add the following. When it's finished, it might look like it's not finished because you are going to see download fail and then uh, fire hose fail. Don't worry about that. Look at the bottom, it'll say finish download. That's all you need to worry about, it's done. So now you can do is just exit. As you can see, the phone is still off. You wanna plug this out and then hold this button in, the power button in until the phone turns on. And then the phone should turn on in a few seconds. And there you go, the phone has now been flashed. Um, now, now that the phone has been flashed, you can just proceed to test it out however you like. I will be putting a link in the description below, of course, to the ROM and the ROM features and the original thread. So guys, I hope that this has been a bit useful to you guys. I hope that um, you guys are also getting through with flashing. Please don't forget, if you get a chance to support our boy um, Skeleton1911, I will be putting the, uh, a link in the description to all his information and his PayPal. So guys, once again, thank you very much. And this has been another TTC Tony Tech Cave tutorial. Thanks a lot, guys. See you in the next one.